Hello. Alright, how we doing? Alright, back for round two. A couple days later. Let's keep it on going. I've got to sort out this bed. Every time I look at my camera, right, and I see this bed not made, it annoys me, so... So today, all right, I've got to say before we even start, I have no one in the house as of right now, so I can be as loud, as crazy, and as insane as I want. All right, I'm full of energy today. I literally woke up at 12. It's now half one, so straight on it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a magic monkey only. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, give us a minute. Once again, let's use this AI thing, all right? All right, I'm going to use my AI on Snapchat, yeah, because it's the best one. So I'm going to ask it... What's the hardest, what's the hardest easy difficulty map in Blue Star Defense 6? Apparently the hardest easy difficulty map in Blue Star Defense 6 is probably Monkey Meadow. I don't think the AI knows the game. You're telling me this is the hardest map? Monkey Meadow. <laughs> uh, well, it chose it, so I'm going to go on hard and on impossible, and we have to use the Magic Monkeys only. Right? I'm going to do this for every single one. I at least need to get four games in. Let's keep going. Alright, so it's impossible, so one life and all that. I'm just gonna use a Quincy, because it makes me smile. Uh, and eventually, we'll get down to the Magic Monkeys only. We're only allowed these five. No free Dark Monkey or anything like that. You're allowed the Hero and the Magic Monkeys. So, let's keep going. According to AI, this is the hardest easy map, so... It just don't make sense, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but we have to do it anyway, because the AI said so. Anyway, what do we want our first magic monkey to be? This guy probably does have everything for a good long while. So maybe like a lead to gold would be good for a start. Just get some money in. Eventually get up to rubber. I'm pretty sure Quincy gets uh, Quincy gets his um, camo vision by 24. If not, oh well. We got spikes at the end anyway, so... Whoop. I'm excited to get back into making videos. And if you watch this as a video, please just hit like you know i like doing this and i want to do more i want to be better and if a simple plus one on the like makes me smile i think that's all i need you know anyway so let's gold uh we've got 13 rounds to make a lot of money so we're good anyway we've got let's gold now so yay uh the issue is now we've got rapid pinks rapid shot now yeah good Nice. And then once we start getting this ninja up, we've got straight up defense. And I'm feeling positive. Uh, it's only Monkey Meadow. Don't have to go too strong right now. It'll probably be like, literally, you'll probably see all of this within the first minute of the video. So, see, doing Magic Monkeys on hard difficulty is one thing. Doing Magic Monkeys only on Impossible is another thing. Completely. There we go. Let's go coming into action. Very nice. Yes. Money. I'm the only person who can pop leads as of right now. Yeah. I don't mind. I was going to say the only person who can pop leads is the leads gold, but then he decided, you know what? I'm going to start shooting bombs out of my arrows. Anyway, I could get rubbers of gold now. Uh, I didn't realize we would have so much money by now, but okay. Um, I could literally just get another alchemist and buff the ninja, but that's boring. Everyone does that. Could literally just go for Avatar of Wrath, Bomb Path, and then. I don't know, there's so many options. It's like, I could go for Spirit of the Forest or Avatar Wrath with five pop lists. So, uh, uh, you know what? I never use Spirit of the Forest and I've heard it's good. Hey, Blaze, you're still streaming in 2K. I mean, if it works, is it working? Because I have no one in the house right now, which means it's using the max amount of internet it can. <laughs> so I'm hoping it's at least working. Anyway, I think I'm going to get a druid. Uh, not sure where to get it. Try to just get it back here and then... Hold our layer. Surely you want it to be around the middle. I want this one to be the Druid of the Jungle. At least. So it's like dead center. Druid of the Jungle's IP, so... I'm gonna have to get another... <laughs> one of these back here. Yeah, so, uh... I'm trying to, like, you know, really get into this. Because I've, so, I've literally 100% free time right now. Oh. That's, that was close. Yeah, so I have so much free time at the minute. I was like, I really want to do YouTube the best I can. Like, you know what I mean? I really want to, like, make this go somewhere. I really want to do this, because YouTube has always been my sort of dream, if you want to call it that. 
it's, I've just always liked doing it. Like, not because of any specific, it's just like, I don't know, sitting down, playing games, people talking in chat, just having a conversation with someone. Simply that, it just makes me smile, you know what I mean? I'm going to add a little twist in this time. So, I'm only allowed, like, 150 of each type of the thing. Like, I'm never going to use 550s, especially for Super Monkey. I need at least two before I finish the game on Magic Monkeys only. Well, this is not Magic Monkeys only. It's Magic Monkeys only, but on Impoppable, okay? So, how do I explain this? I'm only allowed 150 of, like, let's say a wizard, and then 150 of a super, but I need at least two 50s before I finish the game. What would be a good next one? Either Ground Saboteur or Master Bomber, maybe. Master Bomber's good. Archmage is going to have to be one. It's going to have to be. It's just good single da target damage. So, yeet, as they say. I wonder how much extra money I've made. I wish it's like, said. I wish it said on here how much the rubber to gold is actually made. Like, next to the pops. I don't know why. Get Wall of Fire for coolness. It's a weird thing, so. You get fire to stay cool. Okay, I think it's time to get hard thorns now. Just for the greater good. Okay, maybe my computer cannot handle 2k. <laughs> it's... I'm telling you now, when I feel, when I say it, it's like touching the radio, yeah. it's like touching the radio. Yeah. And then we've got Archmage, nice and easy first map. Simple as that. Yeah, so if you want to know what I'm doing to change this channel around, I'm making a new uh, channel banner. So when you click on my channel, that thing that you see up above, um, that's going to be changing. There we go, Ranger, by the way. Uh, I'm going to be changing... Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you this in a minute, just so I can do this for the video. All right. Nearly gonna die. Nearly dead. Any time today, lovely. I might just nuke the last part. Uh, kaboom. Okay, cool. Very good. Alright, that's the first map done. Alright, I'm going on to my AI. Alright, I'm gonna be asking this. What is the hardest intermediate ramp? What is the hardest intermediate map? For Blue Tower and Six. I don't know if you can read that, but it says, I think the hardest intermediate map is Hashtag Ouch. Excuse me. The hardest intermediate map in Blue Tower and Six is probably Infernal. What's wrong? The hardest intermediate map is probably Workshop. Oh, is that? That's an advance, isn't it? And it? The hardest intermediate map in Blue Tower and Six is probably Firing Range. We'll get that eventually. Yeah, okay, we finally got one. All right, here we go. So I'm going to get this guy down. I'm not sure where. Uh, probably nowhere now. All right, so we've got to start off from here. No, a druid can't even get ninja. Okay, that's the only option really. I'm going to start with ninja. On impoppable. Dodgy. Um, I'll put him a little bit low. Use the monkey squad. I can't be doing that. That's illegal. Nice. All right, ninja discipline. Wait, Druid can't fit. Apparently not. Apparently not. I love the way the ninja starts just like curving around and going all the way over the, the other side of the map. Alright, so at this point, do I just save and then get Quincy down? Here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to. I'm pretty sure this can hold. I'll wait until round 15's over just to be just to be sure. Because I don't want to mess it up. So, just in case, I'll get double shot on round 15. I'm sure I'll be able to do it. But you never know. Okay. Okay, we're good. Prince of Darkness, right? Prince of Darkness in this one. Wall of Fire, Prince of Darkness, right in the mid. At least for the early game. So yeah, I want to put it. I want to put it next to Quincy, but I'm going to put a because uh, I'm only allowed 150 of each type. So if I go for the Prince of Darkness, that means I'm not allowed the Archmage. But is that a sacrifice I wanted to make? I'll, I'll just I'll just get it down. I'll uh, I'll get it down here. I'll, sort, I'll just see how see how the boat goes. You know what I'm saying? The shimmer really does add a you know a big bit of range. It's not in the range upgrade, but it it it, it is. <laughs> I'm gonna lie. Wait, can I miss on there? Oh, I could have got lead to gold. Right. Uh, I really need a Prince Darkness. Um, but how are we gonna survive to round fifty? Alright, so what, what do we want for our next 50s? I never used Total Transformation. 
I'm not sure if it's ever been buffed, but I never use it. Uh, after all, Wrath. There's not enough range for it, really. Spirit of the Forest will be brilliant again. I'm going to have to do that. I think we're going to get it. I think we are. Headshot. Okay, maybe not. All right, and then Storm of Arrows and get it. Okay, come on. Oh, God, don't do this for now. Not now. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Nice. Alright. I think I'm going to go... I'm going to go for a Sun Avatar, right, with extra range, because it's obviously it does do it. Or a Dark Knight with extra range. Maybe Dark Champ if I can afford it, but I doubt I can. Sumo. Alright, we're going to get Spirit of the Forest now. Bang. Hopefully, we don't die. Nearly there. Round 98. Big round, this one. If they, as long as they don't get onto the third row, I'm good. And they didn't even make it past the first one, so what was the thought behind that? Oops, I accidentally used rub shot. Whoops. Alright, anyway, I was scared about this round, but it's actually alright. I will blow up the vines like I did last time. So, wait for it. Are you going to over round 100? No. Uh, I'm just going to end at round 100. Leave it there. I could leave it and just see how long it lasts, but that's too long. Boom. Bomb shooter. Yay. Alright, nice. Full ratio. So, hello there. Place on the future here. About two or three days later. Okay, so basically what's going on here is the last two parts I did separately, but I did them at like 4am. And currently, I live in my parents' house. So they were, they were sleeping, they were getting ready for work for the day after, so I didn't want to be loud, so I didn't talk for this whole bit. But I will be reviewing it in post. So I knew what I did, I watched it all. But I'm going to watch it again, and then just go through it as we go. So here we go. So uh, first of all, I asked the AI once again what map, and it chose High Finance. I didn't actually have the Impoffable unlocked yet, so I had to do Alternate Blues round before it and then I basically got straight onto it so I was literally if you, if you can see it right now I'm literally just eating sweets to keep me going um, so yeah that was that so starting off on Impoppable once again still using Quincy just for fun I don't think I could have started this without Quincy so sad okay so I decided to put Quincy down on the top left side and started the game don't know about high finance, basically the way it works, it sort of makes a dollar sign if you have a look properly. So on the odd rounds it goes like this, like a big S, and then on the even rounds it goes down and then back up. And also the sweets I was eating um, were actually really really sour, so every now and then throughout the video you just see me go. Quite sad, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I decided to switch up Quincy, because he has no protection on the bottom row. So, what did I do? I threw him on the right hand side, on the bottom side, simply because of those, those odd rounds where it would just not work. I don't know why I had my face cam on this, but I did. I feel like this was a much better spot for Quincy. now it can hit the bottom row which is good let's regrow the uh, yellows i think they were from the last game anyway so instantly i decided to wait for the wizard because i don't think it was good on the early round especially with the it'd be all right if i was going for a top path wizard but because i was going for prince darkness i needed the bottom path with the wall of fire so that means i can't aim the wall of fire meaning yeah is what it is. Um, a druid is absolutely brilliant for early rounds, especially the druid of the jungle, which is another big major power boost. And also those group balloons there. Perfect. Once again, it just one shot of the yellow. I mean, that's exactly what I need right now. It does cover both ways, 
which is also important. Once again, I'm eating more sweets. Wait for it. Sour, is it? Those 4 a.m. sweets just hit different, you know. <laughs> look, I'm about. To, well, I look like I'm about to cry. Okay, there did. There was one yellow and a blue there that sneaked by, and it kind of scared me. But it's okay. Anyway, I'm saving up straight for a Druid of the Jungle because I cannot be dealing with these sort of rounds anymore. Um, so I used Rapid Shot here to get rid of most of the pinks, and hopefully the Druids can clean up much better than we did last time. And with that, we got Druid of the Jungle. So now Druid Jungle has pretty much got everything. Quincy is going to get his level, um, well, his ability where he can see camera blues by 24, so we don't have to worry about that. And even if we would, it was on a even round, so we do have enough spikes. Even if it wasn't on, on an odd round, still have enough spikes. We don't even have to worry. Covered in all areas. Especially for these uh, bunch of yellows coming through here. Very good. So at this point, I was kind of just deciding what to go for next. Um... And I think I decided to go for Wizard. So the next round was actually round 28, meaning there'll be lead balloons. And I don't think I have anything here that can pop leads. Um, unless I decide to buy the Hard Thorns upgrade later on. Yeah, so I decided to get Hard Thorns here, um, just to help do with leads. I was going to get a lead to gold, but... I feel like I needed the money before round 40, and it wouldn't have made its money back. I was really scared about round 40, because past round 40, I'd feel like I'd be in the clear, and I'd be making enough money to... Actually, you know those sweets that were on the table? I still have them. I'm going to have some more right now. Yeah, okay, I understand why now. I've got that many forehead rolls. Gordon Ramsay would be proud. Your shit! So I decided to go straight for an unpopped army. Good damage, and it's good, good mob damage for now. So I decided to go for it. And just like that, round 40's done. So just to decrease like the video time, I'm just going to skip forward a little bit. So I'll see you on a certain round that I think is interesting. Okay, so here on round 65. Oh, just started 66, as you can see. Got a few upgrades now. We have an alchemist, a lead to gold, and a rubber to gold. Which is the same. So we have a rubber to gold. Uh, we have a buff alchemist buffing the bits of darkness. That is pretty much our main form of attack right now. As well as Quincy. Um, really good tower especially for maps like this um, I didn't want to retarget the zombie balloons because of like it changing round so I didn't want to have to move it all the time so one forget and two it basically has smart targeting anyway if you just leave it um, on certain maps you do need to move it around but this one here it's best to just leave it so I'm, not, I'm pretty sure I was saving up for a spirit of the forest once again I mean it's a very similar strategy across all the maps we've done so far but I mean it's, you've got very limited choices, and if you're going to go for the best ideas, for the best ones, you're probably going to go for it at the end of the day. Um, it's all about how you use it, though, and when to get it. It's like the other time, I'm pretty sure I got the wizard first and the druid later, but this time I got the druid first for the druid jungle. Okay, so I'm going to skip, skip, skip forward a bit. A lot of this part here is just farming, so I'm going to skip forward to when something happens. Okay, so halfway through around 87, as you can see, we have a uh, Spirit of the Forest now, of course, and uh, Prince Darkness. So what I'm going to do now, I'll get on a bunch of money, b bunch of money upgrades. As you can see, we've got a ninja in the top left for Sticky Bomb. Um, I'm pretty sure I did that for certain mob damage on early rounds just before Spirit of the Forest, so I could actually survive. So that's that. Um, around 89 at the minute. For the last 10 rounds, I was kind of scared here because I hadn't even done Unpoppable on it. Never mind doing Magic Monkeys only Unpoppable. DDTs once again, just getting annihilated. Thank you to Prince of Darkness. So round 91, it really doesn't matter here. Spirit of the Forest is so good. It really doesn't matter. The only problem I was having now was the bad balloon coming out. That's pretty much the only fear I need. Because um, if I'm fearing about round 90 to 100, it's not good. Um, but round 100 is a big one. That's one you got to do to win. So as long as you do everything for it, you're good. Um, but the issue is, round 100, these two towers we have are both area of effect, not single target. So we need single target damage, and what's better than a super monkey? Quite a few things actually, in terms of price. But I decided to get a super monkey, get it up to a dark knight for extra mob damage. And in the end, that was enough to pull through. And also, I did get a master bomber. 
I hadn't used it. I'd never really used a Master Bomber unless I'm going for the Power Gun. Um, but it is a good tower. Solid damage. It's solid mild damage. Solid grouped mild damage as well. So round 95 is just Breeze. Um, so I'm going to skip to round 100. Nothing pretty much happens from now besides me upgrading the Super Monkey. So I will see you shortly. Okay, so round 98 was a pretty big round. Once again, just getting annihilated due to how many group mild damage doers we have. And it falls. Okay, so round 99, once again, DT's just coming out and dying instantly. And then round 100 comes out. We've got Master Bomber, we've got a Dark Knight, and we've got two group damaging things. So I was only scared of the, the bad balloon itself and then the DDT's coming out. Um, but in the end, everything's perfect, and we got a higher finance done, just like that. Boom. Quick arrow storm. And bang. I was really scared at this point, because I was scared of losing. But as you can see, the relief on my face. Anyway, moving on to the next one, the expert maps. Once again, I asked my AI, what expert map should I do for this challenge? And it said... Dark Castle. Okay, so starting off Dark Castle, I actually already have the black border for this map. I thought this was not even an expert map. This was a really easy map in my eyes. It was it was really fun to do. Starting off was a bit weird, but overall it is easy, um, in my opinion. Everyone's different, but I think it's good. So, uh, starting off, once again, Quincy, you know, got to have him. He's the cheapest. I could have used Sorda, but I feel like is a little bit too overpowered. And especially for this map, I don't think she would be very good, sadly. Normally Sword is brilliant in all cases, but her range is not the best. And with a map with such a big open area, with a big middle bit, uh, it's just not good. So Quincy's probably better off to start. Once again, we do have monkey knowledge, so it is already level 3. So I use Quincy for level 6 and 7. 6 was a tough one, but 7, pretty easy. Uh, round 8. Pretty simple. Uh, and then start off, I instantly got a ninja on the top row, okay? The reason I put it on top, for the Moab, all right? We don't have a lot of time to destroy it due to the trees being in the way. And I was not gonna pay money to get rid of them because they cost too much. So, I had to put the ninja on top row, but pretty much directly above Quincy, but to the right a little bit. Um, just so I can have more at, like more damage on the bottom rows if needed. I only wanted it on top row to attack the Moab, but the Moab will be so big, it doesn't matter later on. So yeah. Um, pretty much just stayed like this, upgraded a ninja to a 101. Um, seeking Shuriken, Ninja Discipline. What you should go for every time if you ever get a ninja. Unless you're obviously doing something else, but to, if you're starting off with it, that's what you want. 101, brilliant. Perfect tower. So I pretty much just kept on upgrading ninja, round 13 now. A solid amount of defense right here. Due to the balloons being everywhere, you want a lot of pierce. Because, well, it's not that, it's the fact they're more spread out. So anything that's seeking and has a lot of pierce is brilliant. So I guess he's good at that. Ninja. One blue balloon did sneak by there, but luckily, once again, Monkey Knowledge come to the rescue. I didn't really fancy restarting this 200 times just to see if it would even work. Um, so I'm just going to let the pros do that. I'm not a pro. I'm okay. All right. I'm okay at the game. I'm not a pro. I played a lot. I've got nothing to show for it, sadly. <laughs> Anywho, I've uh, got Ninja doubles, double shot now with Caltrops. Caltrops is, once again, underrated in my brain. Not underrated to everyone, but it's underrated to me. White, I'm looking at you. You told this you told this to me, and I will never forget it. Anyway. So, right after this, I decided to get a wizard. Um, because I need some big damage now, so what do I do? I spammed Wall of Fire, even though I only had 300 money in my account, so good job. Round 24, once again, just getting sorted out. Then got Worry, we got Ninja. But one thing was coming out soon. One thing was coming out soon, and that was a Lead Bloom. Um, so what did I get? Wall of Fire. <laughs> but if you are enjoying this video, thank you very much. It takes a lot of my time, and I appreciate when you come to the video and just press the like button. So it's round 28 now. Gets annihilated. Very easy. I'll tell you one thing, yeah, a, a, one thing I've realised is that a ninja, a ninja and a wizard are brilliant combos together, alright, so think about that when you're using the power guns next. Anyway, once again, I wanted to go for a Prince of Darkness, alright, it's such a solid tower, 
brilliant group damaged, and it's cheap. Perfect for impoffable. And it's deadly prices, okay? Pretty sure everything costs like one and a half times as much. I can't, I don't know that. All right, I don't know the values, but I know it's a lot more. It, it's, it feels like a lot more. But I decided to first get a Druid of the Jungle because it is solid damage and you can't deny it. Solid damage. So, you know, the start is pretty simple, getting it, getting the stuff up. But now one thing I was worried about, okay, good. We've got a lot of balloon damage, but we haven't got a lot of mo damage. Round 40 is approaching. So what was I going to do? So at this point, as you can see, when I do this, that means I'm thinking. But yes, as you see right there, I'm going for, once again, the unpopped army. I don't know how those pinks didn't rush through there. I don't know how. I thought I saw them fly through, but it, they didn't. Thank you. I think the wall of fire timed out perfectly as the pinks came in, so it was pretty sad. But either way, we didn't die. I'm not sure how. Um, guess the ninja must have clutched up. Once again, a pink flying through, but luckily we didn't die. I was really scared here due to the damage. We had good damage, but it was like really on the line of losing. Um, but I was like, okay. My first try, as you can see, I was really shocked we beat that. So I wanted to get, I wanted to save straight up for the unpopped army simply because we needed damage now. I was going to get a blue jitsu, but the lead balloons and stuff coming out, I was like, no, it has to be this. So I decided to get a, decided to get the thingy. And as you see, the balloons were actually spawning on each row, which I didn't want because that means I'm not using all the DPS. So later on, as you see, I moved them backwards. Now they're spawning back there. Um, it doesn't actually matter here on this map because it will just choose a random path. Um, so that's exactly what I wanted. That's what I was expecting. So not bad. Round 40 comes out. I'm scared here, but guess what? Rapid shot comes to rescue and it just gets deleted. Simple as that. As you can see, I was pretty happy there. <laughs> so I really wasn't expecting that to win. Anyway, I wanted to get a buff here and I put it directly above the one that's doing the damage. The one it's closest to is the one it does the buff to. Uh, with a Berserker Brew anyway. If you get Stronger Stimulant, it can go on more than one. Um, so time doesn't run out. But whatever one's closest is the one that gets a buff. So, yeah. Uh, now, I wanted to make some money. All right, we're around 40 to 50. How are we going to do that? Lead to gold and rubber to gold. I've got two of them. There we go. Rubber to gold. Round 45. Okay, so I decided to get Hard Thorns and Druid the Jungle. Not sure why. Because we had lead popping power. Um, I don't know. No idea why. Okay, so blue's coming out. Seems scary, but still good. A buffed Necromancer will do the job. Mid game, easy. So at this point here, I wanted to save it for Prince of Darkness instantly. All right, we had very limited time. We might even make money. Mo coming out round 50. Rapid shot does business once again. This time we're buffed, so it died faster. So I was really excited what to do here. So I decided to move the Druid. I did put him in the right space. I've tried to put him out of the range, and I'm not sure why I did that. I can't remember why I did that. So I decided to do that, move it across, get jungles bounty, and now I have at least some sort of farming. Um, we got let, we got rubber to gold, and we have a druid. It's not near any farms because we've not allowed them. However, um, I decided to carry on anyway. So rounds 50 to 60 here, pretty simple. We'll just sit still and save up. So I'll see you when something cool happens. Okay. So I decided to sell the rubber to gold there because I realised it was actually not doing anything. So I decided to sell it and get the uh, Prince Darkness now because the BFB was coming out. And I was a little bit scared for it, so I decided to just retarget them to make sure all the balloons were actually going towards it. And then kept it for the back and I hoped for the best. And this happened. Just like that, I was so happy that worked. I was really scared it wasn't going to. And it did, so it was good. I wasn't scared about round 63 anymore due to what we had. Decided to get stronger stimulant. I sold the ninja as well. If you don't know it, noticed, it wasn't doing anything. So, purple balloons aren't an issue because it's Prince Darkness. It doesn't care. Using Prince Darkness on Dark Castle it was made for it. It was a Prince of the Dark Castle. Simple as that. So at this point here, it's round 65, and I was really thinking on what to do next. I was sort of just like hoping it would defend, um, and I was kind of confused on what to buy next. Um, so I was thinking the Spirit of the Forest, but I was like, that's so far away. I'm not sure if just a Prince of Darkness can do that by itself. Um, 
And I can't quite remember what happened, so once again, I'm just going to wait until something happens, and I'll get back to you. So I decided to get rid of all the trees. Um, they were annoying me, and I wanted to know what exactly was coming out. So now at least it looks a little bit prettier. Okay, so round 70 is just ending now, and round 80. So, still had the same thing. Uh, I just tried to retarget what we had, and hopefully it would do it. And this happened. I was really scared at this point. I was like, that's a big boy coming out. Oh, it's kept it there ready. As you, as you can see, I re-put re the balloons, balloons down. I put the balloons down. Right, I retargeted it. And it was in the range of the alchemist buff. So it actually reset it back to, back to normal. Um, which I didn't want. Uh, but luckily, we still did it by random chance. So, completely lucky. Once again... Eat more sweets. The sour. It kind of looks like I'm singing for like an opera. So I decided to get Spirit of the Forest. I didn't think I did, but I actually did. So now we've got these two guys again. Perfect damage. I've realised that this pretty much works for any map. By the looks of it. It is really good. Like, it's silly good. So now, I was kind of just worried about mob damage as such. As the rounds were getting on and we were starting to get super ceramic stuff like that, I was kind of scared. Um, so I decided to get Super Monkey. Okay, so moving on forwards, I'm going to skip towards the end. Round 97, what do we have? So we have a... Is that two Sun Avatars? Oh no, sorry. So we have we have two Dark Knights, and we have one Sun Avatar in the middle with extra range. Simply because I need more damage. I was scared about round 100 and these rounds coming up here. Um, so I decided to get as much damage as possible in. Um, so here's how it went. Round 99, here we go. Was a breeze. And then round 100. I couldn't believe I was here. Look at that face. I had to pause it. I, I needed a minute. Couldn't say anything due to it being 4am. But I still did it. So, round 100. Here we go. So I decided to just target everything as much as possible on the bad. Moving the zombie balloons around. Just make sure every single last one goes on it. I put a super monkey at the back side. Extra money. It was only like a, a zero, one, two, <laughs> Just in case any camera balloons wanted to say no. Um, moved it all across. The bad popped. A little bit late. And sadly... Oh no, sorry. The bad balloon didn't even pop. I couldn't... I couldn't do it. I stuck my fingers up. <laughs> and I left it there. Um, I wasn't going to restart. Sadly, that's going to be the end. I'm almost certain it is possible if you did the right thing. Um... So I decided to sell everything. So I had 154,000. What did I do to try and help myself win? I sold, I restarted, I'm using a continue. Um, I, I couldn't leave it on a loss. I couldn't leave it on a loss. So I decided to get an anti balloon, and hopefully that would do it. With a buff. I was absolutely defeated by this point. I couldn't afford to restart again. So I wanted to use the ability at the right time here just to delete the bad. But sadly, once again didn't work, but I couldn't stand it. I couldn't stand the loss after all this happiness. It's not chimps mode, so I don't have to restart. I don't know why I put a double shot ninja, but I guess it's doing some business. <laughs> um, so yeah. So I decided to try one more time using the rapid shot at the right time. And then I wanted to delete the bad at its worst point, so it just straight would get deleted. So, very close that time, but no, still not there. So here we go once again. I was really defeated by this point. I was so sad. I couldn't believe it. All the effort I put in. So, what do I do here? 
put down a wizard. And decided to get dragon breath. With monkey sense. Okay, bit of extra damage, bit of fire damage in there. Every little bit helps, I guess. So, now. And it deleted it. And I was happy. If it did that the first time around, would have been happy. But sadly, I didn't have an anti plume, did I? So. Oh well, whatever. That's the entire video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, sadly, we had to end on a pretty sad note there, but I, was, I wasn't I was too sad. It's not like I hadn't uh, done uh, the impossible for it already. Um, but it's not that. It's just kind of sad I failed, failed the challenge. But hey, -oh, don't win always, do you? So thank you very much for watching. Hope you all take care. Mine is Blaze, and I'll see you in a bit. Peace.